Ladies and gentlemen, how do? Welcome to my next instalment of the restoration of Steve Paris's Formula One bike. Gonna have a quick look at the ignition system that Dave Johnson used on the bike. So, on this side is where the ignition system fits. On the normal road going RD500, <coughs> excuse me, there's a cast uh, aluminium housing which bolts on and a flywheel to take care of your ignition system and your generator system. Well, you know, it's a race bike. We don't need a generating system. Um, a self-generating one's uh, a, a, a better option. So what Dave Johnson did was he made this aluminium plate, which I've just loosely put into place. The crankshaft here on the RD500 would have had a taper for the flywheel to push onto. Dave Johnson's machined this down machined um, a cutout for the Woodruff key <clears throat> and this is so it can accept the ignition system of a TZ500J I believe it's off of the four cylinder GP bike that's a self generating system that's one plus the other plus is uh, the small rotating mass of the rotor so <clears throat> those are back plates there's a uh, part of our ignition assembly which will bolt onto here and that's our central rotor one thing to add before we go on the looking at this on the TZ500 if I'm correct this would rotate clockwise on the RD500 it has to go anti-clockwise and I know because I've read somewhere <coughs> some comments by Dave about the system and he wasn't sure whether it would work or not so I think so he made a test rig and ran the system up to check it and if you look at this he has put marks there for the keyway but also a direction of rotation which is right for the RD500 not for the TZ so he's put his own little marks in there to say you know this is uh, an anti-clockwise uh, running rotor and what do you know the, the system ro runs perfectly well in either direction which he wasn't sure about but he had to make a test jig run it up make sure it would work so there we have it TZ500 ignition on the RD500 nice little compact unit self-generating low inertia from that small rotor Got rid of some weight as well because of what we would have had on this side with the RD500 road bike. That's it for the moment, uh, folks. Hope you enjoyed the videos. Make sure you subscribe on the YouTube channel. Press like if you like it. All that does, it lets me know that people are interested and carry on making more videos. Okay, so I'm just waiting for some more bits to come before I can get <laughs> more involved in the engine. My pistons have been ordered. My clutch plates have been ordered. We're getting to the point where... You know, we can start to build a top end up for the last time. Listen, have a great day and be lucky all.